I always like to create different kinds of bread. So I thought of doing another different type of bread rolls today spinach rolls so for that recipe i'm using 750 grams bread flour and make sure if you want a less amount you can always divide this into um, 250 or 500 so i have 400 milliliters of water always that will vary and 10 grams salt 40 grams sugar 12 grams yeast and 60 grams butter I'll show you the filling ingredients later. I want to do the dough first. So first what I'm going to do is add the bread flour into the mixing bowl. Into that yeast and salt onto the other corner. Sugar. And then I'm going to mix this about a minute. After Add the water little by little, makes a smooth dough and then add, keep on kneading another 5 to 6 minutes. After add the butter and keep on kneading another 20 minutes. So I'm going to show you the ingredients for the spinach rolls. I'm using baby spinach and about 150 grams and I cut that into smaller pieces. If you are using English spinach, it won't work because it has a lot of water. Then I have 100 grams capsicum for the color and one cup of four cheese, uh, four different kinds of cheese mix, but you can always use cheddar uh, instead of that. So I'll make the dough and show you how to do the next uh, step. So the dough is ready. And I'm going to leave that in a warm place about 30 minutes. So the bread dough is ready. Flour the bench and put the dough onto the bench. And then punch it down nicely like this. Take the cheese, put the cheese on the dough like this. And then the spinach and the capsicum and start kneading adding all the spinach capsicum into the dough about five minutes so i mix the dough you can use the mixer to mix it or you can hand knead it too so after put more flour onto the dough and make sure it's not sticky at all and make a log out from that so i made the log out from that and cut that in half first and then cut again into equal size pieces so i cut the dough and you can keep this about 10 minutes before working on it on the bench as i don't have time at the moment so what i'm going to do is flour the bench again and flour your hands and then roll it and press it down and roll it from one end to the other and take the corners underneath like this and then roll it adding more flour and shape it nicely press it down a bit and put that on a baking sheet again and put it in a warm place until it double in size. The buns are ready to go to the oven. So brush the tops with eggs. If you like, you can add a little bit of sesame seeds on top and make sure you don't um, overcook this. If not, it will burn the spinach and the other vegetables. So bake this on 180, about 20 minutes. So I bake the buns about 20 minutes and if I open one to show you how soft it is, it's really soft and moist and it's really hot too. So hope you will enjoy this. Thank you for watching.